Hi, I'm Annika Johnson from Al Johnson's in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Door County Girl. Again, we are making another tasty recipe and I'm here with my this is, I'm, I'm her brother, Rolf. Yes, my brother, Rolf. In case you haven't been keeping up on these. <laughs> yeah, he's the one that teaches me how to cook. Yeah. I just, I'm the eater and he's the cooker. <laughs> but um, today we're going to make another tasty recipe and Rolf always surprises me about what we're going to make. So what are we making? It looks like we're making Swedish pancakes, but we're not. We're going to do a hack on one of our uh, products that we sell. And we're going to make uh, something that uh, we have one day out of the year. And you know what day that is? No idea. Waffle Dagen Day. Is that a new Volkswagen car? Va no, are we all getting some cars? You know, Waffle Dagen is Waffle Day. So in, in, in Swedish, in the Scandinavian ooh. countries, they, uh, they have, we're going to have waffles one day out of the year. And that is March 25th. I, That's I, I waffle I beg to day. differ because I've waited on tables and they all say, well, um, we're going to get those waffles that you had that are so good. And I'm like, mm, we don't serve waffles. We just have Swedish pancakes here. And they always say, well, we had waffles last time we were here. And I'm like, no, we have never had yeah. waffles. We've even had reviews in the middle of the season when we have not far, far from waffle day. And uh, people have said, try the waffles, they're fantastic. And now they might be getting confused with and the Carol to, House, I which like is a great place for waffles. Blogs. I'm like, I think you mean the Sister Bay Cafe across the street. They have wonderful, real thin Norwegian style waffles. And then the waffle, or the Carol the House. Belgian waffles that we've been eating since we were born up at the Carol House. They're all delicious. Yeah. And they go, nope. We, we had, had them here. here. We had them and here. I'm like, and I know you didn't. As soon as I turn around and walk away, they go, she must be new because we've had them here before. And I'm like, oh yeah. boy, here Sometimes we go. Sometimes you just let it go, let it go. Every now right. and then I get a little naughty and say, well, my dad started the restaurant and it's been here since 1949. And I've and been here practically. I asked him and he said, there, I have never been waffles here. No, but With we do, some explanatives. Yeah, but we do have Waffle Day yeah. again, so it's going to be uh, March 25th. Only that one Only day. Only that one day. And, uh, waffle dog. Waffle dog. And so... I guess that it's a hack on our own recipe, okay? Okay. So it's super, super simple to make. Uh, somebody, uh, I believe Kit had posted a slight recipe for it online earlier and people were commenting about it that tried it. We're hoping more people will try it once they see how easy it is. So what I want you to do is go ahead and you're going to add this whole box of mix to that bowl. Take okay. it out of the package, cut it with a scissor so it doesn't explode all over the place. I just kind of um, want it to explode. Now remember, uh, we do have this online. We have this in our stores. But if you go to Whoa. the uh, majority of the grocery stores throughout Wisconsin, well, <laughs> I shouldn't what have happened? given it to you. I would what say, happened? here, use this <laughs> instead. I broke the scissors. <laughs> we'll break that now. So if you go to the majority of grocery stores throughout Wisconsin, uh, plenty in Illinois, many, many in Minnesota, you can get our Al Johnson products there as well. Uh, if they don't have it, inquire. Because uh, not only are they available through Al Johnson's and our website, you can get them at your local grocery as well. Yes, and if they don't have them there, we love, 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 love it. If you would put a little plug in and say, we want Al Johnson's pancakes there. We can't, everybody else has them. How come we don't have You'd them? You'd be doing everybody a favor, believe me. Yeah, we all love them. So now you got that, right? Yep. Okay, then we're going to put in a little bit of this. This is our baking powder. It's three and a half teaspoons. And that's that's the big difference between Swedish pancakes and regular pancakes and waffles is the baking powder. We're also going to put in some melted butter. That's half a cup, which is about one full stick. Okay. And you can use salted butter. It doesn't really matter. We're going to also put in a, a, a scant amount of milk from what we normally put in because we want it thicker. We want it a little fluffier. So, so that's that's one and a cup. half cups. Or I mean a half a cup. Half rather. a cup. Half a cup. All right, so then we're going to also put in a little bit of vanilla. We want to go with a teaspoon of vanilla. 
teaspoon. I like to pour Oops. over. Because, I knew whoops. you were going to do it. I whoops. knew it. I knew I it. I knew it. At least yes. I don't drink it. it. Smells so good. All right. Two eggs. All right. Okay, and the shells. Skip the shells. Skip the shells. That's why Danny Peterson never let us crack eggs because he always told us that we like that. He thanks for cutting, yeah, making the egg pancake battery. Yep, Look at the, yep. we used to have a big ja uh, one gallon glass jars and he'd hold them up to the light and you'd see shell, shell, shell. And yep. he'd have to strain them all. We used to be on little stools. And he'd say, do me a favor, don't cut any or crack any more eggs for me. <laughs> we would love to crack eggs. We had little chef hats on with little aprons and we'd stand there and crack flats of eggs. And then Danny would go, ear out. Get out, <laughs> get out. So I'm whipping it up. And was there something to do with, like if you wanted to make a Belgian waffle? Cause this is yeah. gonna be more so of a waffle. So what happens is when, you, when you're mixing this up like this, you're gonna get more of a batter, right? If you want to get more of a fluffy. Uh, See how creamy it is? If you want to get a fluffy waffle out of it, you would fold it in. So when you would just pre-mix the eggs, the egg whites, I should say, so the, the yolks and the whites, and you would fold it in. You would whip the egg whites so they're nice and, and fluffy. And just kind of go like and that. And then you would just fold it, yeah, yeah, usually with a spatula or something. And then they like. would be a little more like the Carroll House. Remember when we used to go to the Carroll House and they used to have that, uh, the different flavors well, of syrup? It was a little syrup caddy and there were four, four uh, syrups. And, you know, I, I couldn't probably eat it today because I couldn't stand it, but I, when I was a kid, I loved their blueberry oh, syrup. They had blueberry. Boysenberry, they had raspberry, raspberry and then regular, and then regular yeah. maple. And you could spin it around and you could just choose. It was a big syrup. glass jar, yeah, and you could never get enough of it. Yeah. And then we'd always go back, of course. And we'd and always say, Dad, how come we can't get those <laughs> syrup cats? And while we waited house? for our food, you remember, we always went back and pet the dog. Yeah. Norman Carroll would be back there cooking, and at his feet was his dog, uh, Laddie, I think it was. I can't remember. A for big, sure. It was a, uh, it was a uh, collie. Collie, it looked just like Lassie. Yeah. All right, so this is a great uh, waffle iron, by the way. This is it's the, retro. It is very retro, and we're gonna. Who makes that thing? This one is an old Kenmore. We're gonna hit it with a little spray because I'm not real familiar with it, but this is a cool. Uh, Ralph's gonna want to keep this one. So let's uh, put the batter in here. How much do you put in? Well, you kind of start with the middle, and when you squeeze it, remember it's gonna go all over. So my first one's gonna be a guess, to be honest with you. Okay. I think I might have overdone it oh already. Oh boy, that's going to be a fatty. Well, maybe not when we sandwich it in there. So you don't have to spread it out. It just spreads well, out it by should, itself, it, right? I'm, I'm guessing, and I'm hoping. See, it's already squeezing Ooh, out the at, side. Oh, you put too much in there. Uh, oh, is there such thing? Yeah. And you by, know, by well, the way, well, go well, ahead. You go. No, uh, you okay, go. I insist. Why? So you insist. I insist. I was going to say, you notice that we have two different types of syrup here. Yep. So this syrup is, uh, I'll tell you a story about the syrup is crazy. We used to get our syrup uh, made for us uh, across the bay. Mm -hmm. And something happened. I believe the, uh, the, the two people that ran it passed away. And I couldn't get any syrup because nobody else was running, but nobody called their, their, their customers and said, hey, we don't have any more syrup. And uh, we were you know, rambling around trying to get the blend that we wanted again. And uh, we finally found a company and they do a phenomenal job for us. They make the best syrup um, and they blend it specifically for us. But this is what we call the golden goat. Now this is pure maple syrup and you can request it at the restaurant. I um, like the name. Golden the golden goat. goat. And, and the difference, so a lot of times people will have that pure maple syrup and, and they're in for a treat, no doubt. But if you grew up on uh, the store-bought syrups, Aunt Jemima, the Aunt Jemima, Mrs. Log Mrs. Cabin, Butterworth. Mrs. Butterworth, they're, they're, it's very, 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 very different. Which is the stuff I love because it was so well, artificially that's, yeah. flavored. But uh, what happened was uh, uh, we, the people would have the pure maple syrup and they go, it doesn't taste like syrup to me. No, it doesn't taste like the syrup you're used to. Right. And once you taste that syrup and you acquire the taste for that, that it, it's it's so good, it's crazy. Well, people always ask me, like when we didn't have the golden goat, they would say, don't you have any pure maple syrup? And I would say, you know, we used to carry pure maple syrup. They came in little tiny cups if you wanted it. But we got more complaints from it because kids didn't, grow up with it. If, if you're not used to pure maple syrup, it was almost bitter. It was like a, a bitter flavored. But uh, I think if you grow up with it, then you would really be able to tell the difference between like 
a, another maple syrup with oh, pure absolutely. maple. And then in our but maple ours syrup. ours is not bitter. Not at all. But yeah. our, our blend is phenomenal, too. It's, uh, it's a higher concentrate of uh, pure maple than others. So Yeah, and it. actually, instead of thick corn sweeteners and things like that, we use uh, beet sugar to sweeten our syrup. Okay, now while we were yapping, this thing was cooking, obviously. And it does come off a little bit... Uh, a little do you difficult. need a plate? Nope, that's what we do need. I was going to throw it on that cutting plate. board. Bring me that plate right over here. So oh, I boy. I think we might have to make them a little thinner next time. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pre tasting it. delicious. The batter is fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to make another one you while we're You know why they're here. called waffle instead of waffle? <laughs> Because of the double V, Annika. Yes. It's a double V. My mom says, ugh, it, Americans, you always say W, W. It's a V. We don't have a W in Sweden. We say double V. <laughs> so it's not a waffle. It's a waffle. And if I say, are we going to have waffles today? And my mom will go, what? Yeah, yeah. And I'll go, are we going to have some waffles today? Because I'm trying to use my Swedish. And she'll and say, she'll I, go, don't, what? I don't and you'll know say, what you're saying. You'll say waffles. She goes, oh, waffles. And she's like, oh, a waffle. And I'm like, I thought that's what I said three <laughs> times. All right, so while we're sitting here, let us put some syrup on that and get ourselves some forks and give it a try. No butter? Uh, you more, know, I forgot the butter. More butter, more better. Well. Oh, my God. <laughs> I use butter with a cheese slicer. Actually, we can steal some butter Ooh, right here. Oh, yeah. Let's put a little butter on there. You can tell I'm from Wisconsin, right? Ta -da. Wisconsin Johnson. All right. Grab me a fork as well while you're digging in there. All right. Put a little butter. Yep. And I'm going to open one of these pures as well. Okay. You know, my excuse to putting more butter on waffles is the holes are taking all the butter. I have to put more on because I hardly have any butter. That's why I always tease uh, Karen Hall when she comes and gets whole wheat toast. She says, don't be scotch on the butter, Johnson. It's just the toast <laughs> is just a vehicle to deliver butter. <laughs> So let's we'll see if we can appreciate the difference in these two. Okay, so, remember, so this is the regular. This is our syrup we serve every day, and you can request this one if you choose. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite part, eating. Eating it. Mm. Fantastic. Mm. I'm going to go for the... Super good. It's a good thing I added a little extra vanilla in there. Well, I hope. <laughs> you know what would be good? A little cinnamon sugar. You know what else would be good on this? Lingonberries. Lingonberries, but or our I raspberry like the jam. raspberry jam, the strawberry jam. Mm. And for, you for those of you that don't know, we only we don't only sell lingonberries. We also sell a Swedish raspberry jam and a Swedish lingonberry. And I'm and strawberry. I'm not kidding you about the raspberries, the lingonberries, and the and the and the, and the strawberries. Uh, Freddie Bexel, our head chef, he went to Sweden. And hand picked it. He doesn't go out there in the field and pick it, but he, he really picks out the, the ingredients that he wants in our products. So ours are quite different than everybody else's. And I know that um, I was working in shipping, mm -hmm. and uh, somebody had sent back some jars and said, or didn't send them back, but said that the strawberries looked brown. But then I'm thinking that didn't. It's not really brown. It's just how the strawberries are without all, all the artificial. No artificial baloney in, in there. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's open up the jar. It's fabulous. Try it on your toast or you your don't, pancakes. You don't. You don't. If people eat with only it. with their eyes, they see that bright color. It's missing. Like you know? dogs and cats, <laughs> they can't see color, but they everybody's got to buy a Beneful because there's four colors in it. Yeah. It's for us. But anyways, the guy tried it and he said, "Oh my gosh, you're so right. This is fa the best dram I've ever had." And it's fabulous, yeah. You know what? I like the pure maple syrup with this better. Well, you're a Wisconsin girl, and you've grown up around maple syrup. People, you know what I used to look forward to was when I, when Renee Reinhardt worked for us. Yeah. And her dad had Jerry's Flower Shop, which still exists and yep. run by the Langs now. Um, she'd come in when her dad would make maple syrup, and she'd bring in just the syrup, syrup, and we'd make tea out of it. What? You, you know the tapping of the tree. Mm -hmm. It's so sweet. 
that he would just make, she would just make, bring in just the water, the sugared water, and we make tea out of it. It was fantastic. That sounds delicious. It, it was. sounds better than a sweet tea. Like, yep. you know, like a sweet tea that you it would make? It was really good. You better make some room for Bill and there you go. Kit and John's pen waffle. Well, that one's even better because it's I a, got little a little bit. Yep. More, more brown. He's getting more professional as we go along. Like I knew what I was doing. So anyway, that comes to a close once again. Mm. You guys have to try this. This is really, really good. Simple and hack, easy to do. If you can't find them um, in your local, anywhere in Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, grocery stores, uh, you can buy them online at Al Johnson's. And uh, try it out. Recipe's fantastic. Yeah, and, Even and strawberries and whipped cream would be good on you. They would be very, very good. And you know what the Swedes like? They like a little cardamom in their, in, their, uh, oh, yes. in their whipped cream. And you ladies that like to fika, like I like to fika, this would be a nice little fika treat. You can cut you them in little squares. Sing it, and you could let it get cool mm -hmm. and spread our jellies or jams yeah. on them. And, a little, fantastic. and have a little coffee tea party. It would be awesome. Anyway, don't forget to... Like and subscribe in the corner and... Check out all the other videos that we're going to have up and coming for some more tasty recipes or some knowledgeable information about Door County, right? Exactly. Because we're smart. We're smart <laughs> like that. We learn things. We're willing to share them with you. That's right. We like to share. Anyway, thanks for joining us for another episode of Door County Girl. Uh, we'll see you next time. Hello. Hello. Hmm. I, have bite I think you should put some more butter on it for the boys. Thanks for watching Door County Girl. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time.